what's the difference between saturated fats and other fats? Well, saturated fats are solid at room temperature, like this butter, or lard, or even the fat that you see on a steak after it gets left out of the fridge overnight after it was cooked. Unsaturated fats, on the other hand, are liquid at room temperature. Typically, we call them oils. And the unsaturated fats are divided into monounsaturated and polyunsaturated. But what does the term saturated and unsaturated actually mean? Well, we need to take a look at the molecular composition of a fatty acid chain. And we've used little limes here to represent our chain of carbon molecules. And the chains are a lot longer than what we've got here. Now, if these carbon molecules have a single bond between them, that means there's space now to put hydrogen to each side of them. And we call this saturated because it's saturated with hydrogen. That is a, a typical structure of a saturated fat. Now, if there are double bonds between all of those carbons, then we call that unsaturated or monounsaturated. Now, if there's a carbon chain where some are double bonds and some are single bonds, then that is called a polyunsaturated. And it depends on where in the carbon chain as to how we call it. So this one is number three, so that is an omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acid. If it has a double bond at number six, that's an omega-6 polyunsaturated and so on. Now, when we learned that butter wasn't so good for us, what they tried to do was increase the melting point of vegetable oil to make it solid at room temperature, and they called that margarine. So what they do is they take these extra hydrogen molecules and they force them on board where we have these double bonds, where there's a little extra space for sticking these hydrogens in. Now those fats are man-made, and we call them hydrogenated or partially hydrogenated, Another term is trans fats. They are particularly lethal and you want to stay away from them. Now most plant sources of fat are composed of a combination of all of these. Well, even in meat. But for example, the fat in an avocado is 71% mono, 13% poly, and 16% saturated. Olive oil, 77% mono, 9% poly and 14% saturated. Vegetable oils like this are 20% mono, 69% poly and 11% saturated. Flaxseed oil or linseed oil is 15% mono, 80% polyunsaturated, of which, but it's 64% omega-3, so it's a combination of them, and 7% saturated. Now, Plant fats that are atypical, they stand out from the rest, are high in saturated fats and they should be used with caution. And those are palm oil and coconut oil. Now palm oil is 40% mono, 10% poly and 50% saturated. And that's used a lot to bake cookies and cakes and it often is fractionated or hydrogenated. So, mm, not good for our health. Coconut oil is only 6% mono, 2% poly, and 92% saturated. And because of this, regular consumption of coconut oil is advised against by the WHO, the FDA, the DHSS, the American Dietetic Association, the American Heart Association, the NHS in Britain, and Dietitians of Canada. So what's its effect on cholesterol? I'm afraid it puts it up, though it's not quite as harmful as butter. But I think I'll go steady with palm oil and coconut oil. How about you?